Hi, I'm going to show you how to create a Kanban board on Eden Peer. After your login, you must open the Kanban board configuration window. Once you're there, you click on the new record button. We assign a name. In this case, I'll show you how to create a Kanban board that manages the software development tickets process. So the name will be development. In the table field you'll choose the table that manage that process that you want to see in the common board. In this case development tickets. And for the states you can choose between a column list or a column table associated to this table. So we will choose the state column table. Now we click on the create statuses button to create the status automatically. Now let's set the Kanban board content. This will be the text that will be displayed on the Kanban board. So let's say we want to sh we want to show the developer name so everything between at will be part from the database so let's say the CV partner name and let's say we want to show the start date of that ticket so start development date now to configure the statuses, we go to this ca command status configuration window and we select our bar. We cannot see it, so we have to go to the Kanban bar control axis to allow the user to access the dashboard. So we select the role, in this case, Garden World Man. we save it. Now we go back to the common status configuration window and as we can see we can manage it now. So uh, here we can order the state as we want. So let's say we have the incoming tickets, then they go to analysis, then to development, testing, ready to release and released. So we click the OK button to save. If you don't want a state to be shown, you just have to drag it and drop it on the trust icon and we will delete it. So you click again on the OK button. So now we go to the Kanban board window. You choose the development board and as you can see, it shows the different cards that are in a particular status. Now, I'll show you what happens if you set up a priority rule to sort the cards. So let's say we want to sort them by the priority depth column. As you can see, if we refresh the board, the cards are sold differently uh, in descending order. So, uh, here the priority rule has to return a numeric value. If it is not, by, by example, if you choose a date, an error will pop up when you try to save it. Um, we can set any kind of rule, let's say the difference between uh, the current date and the start date of the ticket. Uh, we can go to the priority tab and set the colors to specific ranges. So let's say that from 0 to 500 
they will be displayed in orange from 501 to 1000 they will be displayed in yellow and 1001 to let's say 2000 they will be displayed in red because it had been like a lot of time so if we refresh the board we can see that the cars will be displayed in the specific color that you said before um, let's interact with the board so we want to let's say this ticket is not longer here it is already in analysis as you can see we cannot move the car this is because when you allow the user to access the dashboard you didn't click the read write checkbox so if you do it and you refresh the board you can move the card okay um, we will be able to move the card between states so uh, in the Kanban status configuration you can set in any state any state that you click on will be shown here in the right panel so let's say you want to set a max number of cards on each state that will represent the work in progress allowed on any state so let's say in development you want to show only two cards on the development status so if you refresh the board as you can see the header is painted in red this means the status is overflow and only the two tickets that are allowed to work in uh, are shown the third one will not be shown if you want to show the overflow tickets anyway you can go to the status configuration and you can click the is show over checkbox so if you click the refresh button it will show all the tickets on that state but only but it will show the like the warning anyway uh, if you want to create a queue instead of the overflow let's say you want to say uh, only two cards are shown are allowed to be shown but I want the rest of them not to be ignored but to be sent to a queue you can here in the SQL statement field if you put a C that means by card the queue is set by card if you refresh it you can see that now development has a queue so every ticket that will go to development that is over the max number of cards will be sent to a queue so if we if this task of analysis is already done and it has to go to development we can drag and drop it but it will be not sh will not be shown in the development status but in the queue okay we can also set like an alias for for each state so let's say we want we don't want to see incoming or we prefer like a development a pending I don't know, to be shown so if you go and refresh it you can see that now the alias the text that you said in the alias status is now shown here okay this is purely like a uh, graphic doesn't do anything the status the column name in the database will be in common it just for I don't know you prefer to see it that way and um, I'll show you like to how to set a final state it means 
for example at some point you'll have like the release tickets there will be a lot of them so you don't want them to show here because it will be like really hard to manage so if you go to the release status and you say that the max number of car it's minus one you save it and you click on refresh button now you won't see any card on that status but still you will see the number of cars in that status this between brackets is the number of cars that are in that particular status at one moment okay so as you can see if you try to drag something or move something from the queue status you won't be able to do it you have to move it from the development status let's say to testing as you can see the queue release one to the development and the testing has one more I'll show you another example that I set up before so let's say the invoice I made an invoice Kanban board to see the status of all the invoices so if you want to move something let's say from voided to draft an error will shop will pop up because you're like violating a workflow rule on Eden Pure. Okay? And if you try to move like something from complete to anywhere, it's the same. Uh, let's go to development again. This field right here, the SQL where will let you filter the Kanban bar. So let's say you want to see only the tickets that have a priority greater than three. So you just want to see the really important tickets. So if you go back and refresh it, you'll see only the tickets that satisfies this condition this can be said for anything if you want to see in this example the invoices that represent like only sales invoices so you can do the same and they will the board will show only those invoices uh, that's it any question or anything you can uh, post it in the bottom of this video, the comment section, or in the forum, and I will be glad to ans answer them. So, thank you for watching. Bye bye.